In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the utility of reading the pre-appraised literature rather than the original publication of an article. This is a systematic review of omega-3 fatty acids in the secondary prevention of cardiovascular disease published in the Archives of Internal Medicine in 2012. In the Haynes hierarchy, this would be an example of a synthesis. This particular study is eight pages long. For me to read this carefully, critically appraising its methods and trying to understand the results to see how they apply to my patients would take me some time, probably 30 to 60 minutes, if not more. Contrast this to this one page summary of the same article published in ACP Journal Club. Now our, all articles published in ACP Journal Club would be called synopses. In this particular case in the Haynes hierarchy this would be an example of a synopsis of a synthesis. These are called pre-appraised literature because someone else has read the original study and critically appraised it for, for its methodological quality and clinical importance. What I really like about the pre-appraised literature, especially ACP Journal Club, is that the title gives you the answer to the findings. In this case, the titles omega-3 fatty acid supplements provide no protective benefit in cardiovascular disease. So if I only had time to read the table of contents and read the titles, I'd gain a lot of information and know it would not be very useful to offer my patients omega-3 fatty acids to try to prevent cardiovascular disease. The other things I like about the pre-appraised literature is that the presentation tends to be very structured. It starts out with the clinical question that they want to answer in this particular study. They give a very brief overview of the methods hitting all the, port, the uh, components that are important for critical appraisal. The results tend to be given in a simple table um, that includes everything that you would need to make a decision on the benefits and harms of this particular therapy. And then importantly, the commentary here that's added adds a lot of information. So commentaries tend to be written by clinical and methodological experts. They put the results of the study into the context of the body of literature that's already out there in this particular area. They tend to outline the remaining questions that need to be answered in this particular area. And they also will highlight any study limitations and what impact these limitations could have on the interpretation of the study. So in summary, the pre-appraised literature can be directly apl applied to the care of your patient because you, you don't have to do that critical appraisal step. Somebody else has already done it to determine that this study is clinically important and methodologically sound. Therefore, you can save a lot of time. Its structured presentation allows you to very quickly get information from the publication. But there are some limitations. It does take some time from when a study is published in a primary journal to be critically appraised and to determine that it's methodologically sound and clinically important to be published in one of these um, pre-appraised resources. And that because not all studies make it into these pre-appraised resources, it is not a comprehensive source of everything that has been published.